There is nothing quite that reflects our unique South African heritage flavor than a humble can of Lucky Star Pilchards. And today, we're taking you back to Coco's Kitchen and making a classic Pilchard stew. In studio, we have back a face that we have not seen in a very long time, with Chef Aya, who is going to take us through the step-by-step -step process of preparing this treasured recipe. So, Chef, take it away. Yeah, no, great. Thank you for having me once again. I mean, I've missed this place. So, um, this is a very classic Dish. Come on, it's a classic stew that goes with everything that you want to serve it with. You can serve it uh, with pap, you can serve it with amakwenya, which we're going to do now with pizza. And also, it's a very versatile dish. So, we're going to start off with our oil. And I mean, I remember growing up, we used to, you know, get me and my friends would go to um, the bush with all the cans um, of Lucky Star and we'll start the bush and use the cans as pots to make actually the pill chart. Yeah. I mean, those are like memories that I have with pill chart and I still have it decades later. I'm still like enjoying pill chart to the fullest. What a way to take <laughs> us back. I mean, can you imagine little Aya walking out, running around with his friends in the yeah. bush using this? So you'd put fire underneath this, create a pot out of this exactly. and just cook the, the, exactly. the fish inside. But of course, you get the pill chart out first, get the paper off and then and clean the, um, the can and then start from scratch, like a port, like what you do at home. But we're not allowed to cook at home when we're young and you know, and also we didn't have a lot of ingredients. So you'd ask your friends, bring onions, bring tomato, bring spice, bring that. So all we contribute and then we come wow. together to create this beautiful classic stew. I but mean, now, but now there's a twist to it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And as you do continue just to build the stew, what yeah. spices do you have in front of you before we um, check on Udomi? So uh, I've got uh, paprika here and I've got curry spice, which is like one of the classic spices to have for this dish. And then I've got mm -hmm. salt and pepper. And then the, uh, the sugar here, just in case it's, it gets too tangy or too um, uh, sour for you. And then it's just going to bring it together and balance it very well. Beautiful. Domi, how's it going on your side? Girl? Balisa, I'm getting myself ready for this stew because I figure there's so many ways you can enjoy this stew. You can enjoy it like you've got the darling soup, one of my faves. <laughs> but you can also zhuzh it up a bit and that's why I'm going to be putting it inside a pizza because, I mean, we've got so many things that you can put on a pizza. Why not put this beautiful, amazing, tasty, delicious uh, Lucky Star stew that Chef is making over there. And Balisa, today we've chosen to use the Lucky Star flavour that comes in tomato, mm. but it's got so many different flavours. We've got, I mean, three flavours to be exact. We've got the tomato, we've got hot chili, and then for the sweeter notes, we also have yeah. sweet chili if you want to try that as well. Sounding delicious. I mean, this recipe seems super simple, super easy. Aya, is this what we can expect in this incredible cookbook next to me? I mean, the the taste of the nation. I mean, the, uh, the beautiful thing about that book, that book is so diverse. Like, yeah. it's that really, really celebrated um, the unique and the, and the diverse flavors that we have in the country. I mean, from Cape to our north, our northwest, from Limpopo to Durban. I mean, this also, it's not just going to be a very very nice to taste, it's very healthy. Mm. I mean, it's very high in omega-3, which is very good for your skin. And I mean, at the same time, this is a very beautiful, uh, healthy substitute, you know, for, for, for uh, protein. Yeah, I'm so glad that you did bring up some of those points because at the end of the day, it's all about making sure our family are well nourished when they do eating. We're not we're not about feeding you bad fats or things exactly. that are uh, you know convenient but not so good for you. Here, you can literally taste the love and all the different um, key ingredients in it. And I also love the fact, Domi, that you mentioned it comes in three different mm -hmm. flavors. It does come in three different flavors, Balesa. And like Oshev said, it is good for you because not only is it a great source of that protein, yeah. it's a great source of that omega fatty acid that you said, which is also good for the brain, Balesa. Yeah. And for the heart and we're celebrating heritage month and in that case we're talking about all the things that make your heart happy yeah. and i'd like to think it's cooking for your family and friends definitely and, and i mean this stew really goes a long way because um if you're really a fan of uh, seafood you can also in your pizza use the sauce just as a base and then you can top yeah. it up with all the other flavor fishes that you like i mean your hake your uh, tunas your salmon i mean it's a very diverse yeah. stew Exactly. I mean, here I'm pretty much done. I've already gone ahead and filled Amakwenya up with the pilchards. And it was just so simple, so easy. And I can definitely trust that it's going to be tasty too. It's going to be amazing. I mean, with me, like, sometimes I don't, I don't know a lot of people, uh, I don't remove the bones from my fish because I really like that beautiful yeah. surprise of the crunchiness mm -hmm. from it. But some people tend to remove them, which I don't mind. But with mine, I never. <laughs> really? I never. No, I don't. Because I... also remember, I feel like sometimes, you know, that omega-3 you're looking for is really there by the bones. And then oh. by getting rid of the bones, you're really losing what you're really after. I get that, I get yeah. that. So, Domi, on the Quinya station, how is it going? <laughs> how far are you with um, oh, mixing it all up? Well, Palisam, now all I need now is just for Chef to pass me that filling. Yeah. In fact, what I'll do, Chef, since you are looking, you, you're busy being the salt bay there, adding your last <laughs> <little> <laughs> salt and pepper, I'll pass you the dough that uh, I've just rolled out. Yep. And I've done it thin base. I don't know if yeah. you, because people no, have fine. different options. That's Some fine. people like thick base, some like thin. So I'm just going to hand it over to you, and you can perhaps just 
top it for us, fill it with the filling over there. All my ingredients are in here now. I'm gonna let it simmer a bit and then later on I'm gonna taste if the sugar is enough and the salt is enough. But okay. yeah, I'm all good to go. Because oh. also remember it must go in the oven for you and then the cooking process is still gonna go Correct. through. So yeah. Awesome so stuff. when we think of um, these very, very easy to eat and very convenient kind of recipes, what would be a top tip for some, someone to kind of remember, keep in mind to make sure that number one, not only your stew or your pizza is yeah. correct, but that the entire family is happy. <laughs> no, remember we are diverse. And, yeah. and Bill Child, as we said, it has a lot of diverse recipes and also it can go well with a lot of dishes that you have at home. Mm. So for me, I always like to keep it simple. Always make sure that you, you use spices that you know are going to enhance the fish because at the end of the day, you don't want to eat fish and then taste like chicken. Yep. <laughs> so keep it simple. Don't rush yourself. Don't panic. Just, you know, do the stew. You just need four ingredients. I mean, you can take this. This is a basic. Yeah. So having the basic, you can start building up on it with all your favorite stuff at home and also be part of this book. Be, I love that. I love that, that this is an opportunity for every South African to go out there and get involved in the Ooh. kitchen. And not only that, just Ooh, paying homage to something that is just goes through generations on generation on generation. And on that note, all those gasping and happiness, <laughs> what is going on there? I've just topped our pizza bases with our pilchard stew, Balissa, that is gonna be, it's got all those beautiful flavors, the sweetness of the cheddar, the, I mean, the sweetness of the peppers, the mm. sweetness of the onions, and then we've got that beautiful tangy flavor from the tomato pilchards that we added in there. And then we've got our beautiful curry powder, uh, which I like to think goes perfectly with the flavor exactly, of yeah. the fish as well. So all of this just goes into the oven to bake. The whole idea is to just make sure it gets nice and crusty. Um, as you've seen, I've left this one uh, uh, base a little bit on the thicker side. So because of the base, the center is going to obviously hold it yeah. down and be flat. This outside is going to puff up and get a nice little, and that's where the deep dish and comes the in. crispiness that we want. The crispiness <laughs> that we're looking for. So as for you, Palisa, this is going to simmer a bit, and then from there, in the next two minutes, I'm going to give it to you, and then you can start stuffing the macaroni. Yes. I've already stuffed it up, honey. I had, I had, can you, you see? You know, we can have side of, the one on the side, so you can dip it in. You see, you know? this is, oh, I like that idea use it also as, as a, a dip exactly. but um no listen if you put some pilchards next to me honey it will disappear i've already filled i'm a queen your army and i'd Ooh. add a little bit of green for Ooh. garnish um, i hope i made you proud chef Aya. oh this looks awesome Voila. And soft. No, and very soft. And on that note, I've got some good news for you. We're giving away five 1,000 Rand Lucky Star hampers filled with loads of delicious Lucky Star goodies and this new incredible recipe book. And all you have to do is hop over to our Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram competition posts and tell us what heritage dish you would make with a tin of Lucky Star. Remember to include the hashtag Lucky Star SA. The competition closes at noon on Monday, the 27th of September. T's and C's can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za.